Hi! We've come to the last lesson of our coloring tutorial. You are now familiar with all of the coloring techniques to keep you going throughout the entire Inkful Books coloring book series. In this video, we will show you one last technique to add an extra glow to your coloring pages. It's called, the gold leaf. You might have heard of the gold leaf, a very thin decorative sheet many artists use, mainly on paintings, but it can work very well in a coloring book as well. It adds a hint of glamour to anything you apply it to. And combined with coloring pencils, you can make your coloring pages really stunning. It's a technique you apply at the end, after you colored a page. We've already colored a page, inspired by Kevin Lido's mural. It's perfect for the gold leaf. You can find this page, and many similar ones, in the Ultimate Street Art Coloring Book. To apply the gold leaf technique, you will need a paintbrush, a leaf adhesive, a bowl, and of course, the gold leaf. You can find two types of gold leaves, a real gold leaf, made of mostly of pure gold, and the imitation gold leaf, made of copper and zinc. For your coloring book, you should, of course, use the imitation. You don't need actual gold on your page, do you? They come in sheets or flakes. Flakes will give you more texture, while sheets have more even texture. You can try both, and see what works best for you. Let's start by pouring a little bit of adhesive into a bowl. Dip the paintbrush in it, and lay it down on the areas you want to get a golden texture. Those are sections of the page you want to emphasize. We are going to add the gold effect in the background, just like on the mural. You don't need to put much of it, a thin layer will do the job. Avoid rushing, try to be precise. You can switch to a smaller brush for detailed areas. Remember to clean brushes when you're done. You don't want to ruin them when the glue dries. Once you've done putting the adhesive, wait about 30 minutes for it to dry, before adding the leaf. Trust us, it's going to be worth the wait. Let's add the gold leaf now. If your sheet tears or wrinkles when picking it, don't worry, it's normal. Gold leaf is very fragile by nature, you can still use all those little pieces. Take a sheet of gold leaf, or a pile of gold flakes and place it in pieces on the paper, with a brush or with your hands. You will see how easy it is for the gold leaf to stick to the paper. Go over the area with a brush to stick it better. It's just like when you paint. Some areas might end up more textured than others, but that's completely okay. It's one of the characteristics of this medium. If you miss some parts, or you're not satisfied with how some turned out, don't stress about it. The good thing is, that you can always repeat the process over those areas. We went back and added the adhesive on parts we missed the first time. Just a thin layer. Once the whole glued area is fully covered, gently brush away the excess flakes. If you accidentally glued the leaf on areas you didn't plan to. No worries. The gold leaf is very easy to remove. You can remove it with any sharp object. 
We used a scalpel for that. Gently scrape off the thin layer of leaf from the paper. And you are done. See how glowing the page looks. We hope you enjoyed this coloring book tutorial. Come back often for more. Let us know your thoughts and make sure to tag Aimful Books in your coloring pages. See you soon. Learn more at aimfulbooks.com.